For this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to measure current using uh, this multimeter. So first off, I'm going to make sure that the jacks are in the right place so and that the, uh, the dial is in the right place. So I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to wait for it to boot up. Okay, the multimeter is indicating 34 milliamps. Now, the bar graph is twitching a little bit, and uh, you might be fooled into thinking that it's not really swinging that far, but in fact it is. So I'm going to show a different uh, measurement over here. I'm going to go to peak. And what that's showing is the minimum current drawn is 17 milliamps and the maximum is about 98 milliamps. But that is still only suggesting that the current draw is fluctuating. So I'm going to go back to menu. I'm going to put it back to, I'm going to put it to a different mode called uh, duty cycle percentage. And as you can see on this mode, the uh, current is fluctuating quite a bit. So I'm going to set the uh, the range from 50 milliamps. I'm going to set it to 400. Now on this particular range over here, the due to cycle range, you actually get everything that um, that you could get. Well actually you get a lot of different things. Um, you get milliamps a, uh, DC up there you get the duty cycle percentage and you get the uh, the frequency that frequency isn't actually showing the uh, the pulses I, I guess it's just because this um, the power is coming from that DC uh, power supply So just to reiterate, when you measure current with a uh, Fluke 289 or Fluke 287, you got to make sure that you just take a, a quick look at some of the different um, settings. You don't want to just rely on the AC and, and DC simultaneous or just a, a plain DC mode because that doesn't really show you everything that well, everything I consider important because that totally misses the fact that there's some wild fluctuations going on over here.